Hi everyone, um, I'm going to show you now how to really quickly use um, Null DC Cheetah to discover new codes for the game Shenmue and this is being emulated at the moment obviously but um, you can use the same practice in theory for any game on the Dreamcast um, the Null DC Cheetah works on I think any game um, so it's pretty much the same in theory but um, first of all you've got to make sure that the game's on before you turn Null DC Cheetah on but you probably know that already because you're looking to find new codes so anyway um, turn the trainer on just so you don't forget later uh, this is all in German unfortunately um, the problem being that you press the wrong thing you can mess up your search entirely but I've taken the time to Google search for the different um, translations here so we're going to do a really simple search for quite an easy code one of the first ones I personally found um, we're going to look how to pause the time or manipulate the hours whichever comes first um, so all you do you open no DC cheer um, and we're going to search for the, the bits are just the value the length of the value in the um, address that you find so typically I usually stick with 16 bit um, if it's a smaller value I'll go with 18 uh, sorry 8 bit but stick with six, 16 bit this time and see how we go so we're going to start the search um, this top button here it starts, as a, it starts a search without a specific value inserted so um, let's start a search now that's the total number of code, possible codes that it's found so far so right now it could be anything, absolutely anything because we haven't narrowed down the um, variables by changing the current amount so now we're going to try to pause the minute hand so the minute hand since we last looked at it has since we pressed that button there because it goes by the last action you did so the last time we pressed that the minute hand was around here which would have been on the maybe 57 mark or something like that since then it's gone past the hour which means it would now be on maybe seven which means it's less than before so we click on the less than and it will narrow the search down to what it thinks um, what, what it knows is, is more likely now since we last pressed the less than arrow the times moved on so we now press more than and the, the numbers have narrowed down again as you can see now what you do is you repeat that same um, action until either you've narrowed it down to only maybe 10 codes or you're at a stage where you're not narrowing it down any further in which case you need to change up your method of, of looking so I'll, I'll show you that in a little while um, anyway the minute hand, hand is continuing now so greater than before um, and when it reaches 12 again we'll just do less than and it will narrow it down to um, hopefully one or two codes if I remember rightly but you can actually narrow it down faster I'll show you how you can do that by doing things in game um, which helps the, co the no DC cheater to recognize the fact that um, you're not looking for any of these things so say for example I was to lose I was to gain some money or lose some money and then press greater than it would know that it's not the money I'm looking for it's something else so it's, it's something basically that's increasing every time I'm pressing the greater than arrow and it goes by um, the exact second you press the button so that that will be the last saved values uh, if you like um, and from there it continues to search now we've narrowed it down to 12 codes so far so I'm pretty happy with that but we'll, we'll do it again just to see yep we're down to 10 now actually while I'm waiting for the minute hand to pass the 12 I'll explain what a few of these other functions do now this button here um, it means to start the search at that value so I could type in um, say my money was at exactly uh, 200 yen at the moment it's not at the moment but um, the money is actually a lot higher than that as you can see 
but um, if it was at 200 I could start a search at that exact value and if it would narrow it down really quickly if I did that and then if I was to say uh, buy a capsule toy it would be down to 190 and then I could click that button which is to continue the search don't press start search again because it will, it will restart the entire search you want to continue the search if the value has been updated um, in which case you'd probably find the money value after a couple of clicks it really wouldn't be difficult you can also use this where you type in a specific value say the money was 150 now um, I don't know why you'd need to do this because you'd know it was 150 but for example if you weren't totally sure that it was 150 but you knew it was less than 200 you could type in 200 and go less than it and it, that would continue the search um, looking for any value that's currently less than 200 obviously these um, buttons here are pretty simple if you know anything about maths or um, programming equal to, less than, greater than, does not equal uh, less than or equals to, greater than or equals to um, this is uh, German for address and that's German for value the value is usually the thing you change to increase or decrease the code that you found so I'll show you that in a second now we've gone past the mark on the clock now so we're going to put less than now we still only with 10 results which is unexpected actually right clicking you can add all by clicking that button you can add all the codes you found so if you found 100 rather than going through each individual one you could press add all and if you tick one at a time you'll see which one is actually the minute and um, code that we're looking for there we go it's that one so we can untick the rest of them just in case they do something crazy like crash the game or make where you, where you do jumping jacks or something like that um, and now we found the code that is roughly 12 minutes past you can alter that value there at the end uh, OA would be the uh, probably looking at seconds most likely BOA is probably how many seconds past the um, perhaps even milliseconds so if we increased it to BOF, we'll see if the, the time changes. Oh, the hour changed actually. So well, we found a code that actually does all the time, but it looks more like it was everything about the time rather than just the hour. As you can see, the minute hand keeps switching back to 12 every time it passes 12 by. So if we played around with that a little bit more, we'd probably come to um, some other time. Yep, it's now night time and we are is now going to sleep. But um the code that actually does work I already found um you can have time stand still, skip hours, skip days, hour change, etc. Um and that's about it. If you got any questions leave a comment or you can ask me at the dojo. Cheers guys.